Our aim was to create a plant with a scent that makes its owner happy. We are entering a new era here. The first mood-lifting, antidepressant, happy plant. We've received orders from all over the world. I do own a little Joe myself, actually, but it's not emitting a scent that's altering my mind. Haven't you noticed how Chris has changed? I think little Joe's pollen has triggered something. I'm a huge fan of Little Shop of Horrors, and it was also inspired a bit by Invasion of the Body Snatchers and uh, Frankenstein, which she is, is a monster that's created that, that comes out of control. So I like that concept that the plant, in order to survive, it's mutated, and that nature is unpredictable. <laughs> if I fell under the spell of a plant, it will probably be something like a cactus, because my mum's from Arizona, so I've got a bit of a thing about cacti. You're a good mother, but which of your children will you choose? Jessica and I discussed a lot before we started. We talked about uh, some of the difficulties that Alice was going through, like the um, constant conflict that she had between motherhood and juggling her career and how that was very difficult. Her job is always extremely important to her and that's clear and it's always going to be like that. But then that's part of her conflict really is that she struggles with feelings of guilt. You're starting to notice too, aren't you? Fear can distort our perception of reality. If I made a mistake, then it's my fault. It seems that this has all been a bit much for you. Well, you read scripts so much, kind of like Alice, sometimes there's not much time for a hobby. But, um, but yeah, putting together a, constructing a character or a journey or a, something like that could be my little Joe.